Whether we're talking about games or tech as a whole, finding a really good deal can be very difficult because we are all doing it, especially during this time of the year. We can have a thread on Reddit or a video on YouTube where somebody talks about a great game that is absolutely worth your time, but then you go on eBay and just like that, those prices skyrocket. And a similar thing can happen with technology where you gotta buy a webcam or a microphone and you don't wanna sell for anything that's mediocre. You wanna look good, sound good. So hey everybody, Juan here, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are gonna be doing a hybrid thing as I do this uh, weird dance because we are gonna be reviewing this microphone right here. That is the Toner TC777 Condenser USB Microphone priced at $40. I'm also going to be talking about some non-traditional places where we can find some incredible deals with video games because everybody's going on eBay. So what happens when that game is at a really high price and then you can get something from $30 all the way down to just three. If you like what I do, make sure to subscribe, give me that thumbs up, go down to the comment section and let me know. Based on recent months, what are some of your favorite webcams, microphones, and places to check out video games because hey, somebody else can really be looking for that right now, especially as we head over to the holiday season. Every single thing that you've been listening to up until this point has been using this $40 microphone. So hypothetically, you could come to a pretty basic inclusion right now of if you like the sound quality or not and then you can check it out and i do want to give a huge shout out for toner for providing this microphone for review nobody is reviewing the contents of this video i'm not being paid to review the microphone i just got it sent in for review and i'm very critical about audio quality i've talked about that in previous videos as a matter of fact i've been using this audio technica ATR 2100 microphone for over seven years. So I'm very jealous and picky about sound quality, but first let's see what's in the box. With the Toner TC77 microphone, you get a very nice microphone stand that is made out of metal. So top notch quality, it should not break easily. You also get a miniature shock mount, which I really like because that way it greatly reduces the vibration from your table or overall environment. The shock mount itself has a built-in pop filter accessory, which you're actually checking out right now. You can see that this cable is actually part of the shock mount. The pop filter itself is removable. The USB cable is built into the microphone. Three quick things worth pointing out is that the microphone is plug and play. I'm recording right now using OBS Studio and I had no problem with the computer detecting the microphone, just plugging it in and everything was good to go. Another thing is how the microphone actually looks. I think it's a visually stunning microphone. It's very attractive and different because most microphones are either silver, gray, or black. This one, even right now, it looks visually very different. If anything, it actually blends a little bit better with my background because you can see I have that blue bar right back there. This is a condenser microphone. So you speak directly to its side, not from the top. And this is also a cardioid pattern microphone. So as long as you speak directly to its front, or just off to the uh, slight sides there, you're gonna get some pretty good audio quality, but you can see that as I move to the side, the quality obviously uh, becomes reduced. There's less sound coming through it, so that's pretty good if you wanna block out some noise. So just rest assured that you don't have anything behind you that can be uh, a little bit noisy, so you get the best quality possible. I prefer to have my microphones on a boom arm. In the description, I'm going to show you a pretty decent microphone boom arm that you can get for a couple of bucks. This is really helpful because keep in mind that the closer you are to the microphone, the better sound quality you will get. Let's do a quick comparison between this microphone and the Audio-Technica ATR2100 USB microphone that I actually have it right now with the, uh, the tripod that came with the toner. So right now you're listening to me using the Toner TC777 microphone. And now this is the Audio-Technica 2100 USB microphone. This microphone cannot be purchased anymore, which makes me quite sad. And the regular price at its time was about $70. And now even the next model is at minimum $100 as opposed to 40 for the toner. So once again, this is me using the toner and now I'm talking using the Audio Technica. So now, while we get to talking about some recent PS3 pickups, you will continue listening to me using this toner microphone. A couple of years ago, I showcased that on this channel, I got a pretty expensive game at a pawn shop for just one dollar. 
and I'm talking about this game right here, Champions Return to Arms. I even left the, the label right there because I was amazed at that price. This game goes complete inbox that CIB people for easily over $35. But this was at a pawn shop that clearly did not sell a lot of games. I went back to that pawn shop because I was like, hey, you never know. I can I can find something else, and I actually did. I've seen a lot of people say that uh, places that sell used cell phones, brand new cell phones, actually have a fairly small collection of Vita games. Now, usually they prioritize PS4, Xbox One, and they have the PS3 360 section in back. It's kind of like off to the side, like they they cannot wait to get rid of that. So I went to that section because. That's what I want. I want you to get rid of that so it can come to my home. And I was able to get all of this for just $3 each. It's one of those things that I felt like I was a, a kid in a candy store. When I went out, I immediately took a picture. I just could not believe it. So I'm going to save this one for last year. First up, we have Ragnarok Odyssey Ace. I actually played this game first on the Vita. It's not the Ace version. They came out with this revised version of the game. Uh, this is uh, really capitalizing on the, on the popularity of Monster Hunter games. So it's an action RPG. I didn't quite love it on the Vita, but I heard many people say, hey, Ace fixed a lot of the things that maybe other people did not like that much. So at just $3, I'm like, hey, sign me up because I guarantee you a lot of people did not know about this game. Actually, let me know for all of these games. Have you either played them, taking a look at them? Uh, this one I'm very excited to go back to. And it does have online with up to four players, but I'm assuming the online is no longer functional. But that's just one of the games that I got for just $3. Now, next up, this is Mortal Kombat The Complete Collection. Just like Ragnarok Odyssey, and this is like a weird theme here, I also first played this on the Vita, and it was kind of weird because I got it on the Vita for just, I think it was $10 because there was a sale for the uh, the new version of the uh, the Vita one for 20 bucks, but for whatever reason, they had only a cartridge available, and GameStop told me at that point, hey, can you have it, uh, will you buy it for 10 bucks? I'm like, hell yeah, and that one visually was not the best, but it was a pretty awesome game. I love the story mode, and this one, you can play as Kratos, people. You can play as freaking Kratos in Mortal Kombat. I mean, that is a match made in heaven. I think people talk about like this whole caliber games and the uh, special appearances like Spawn, Link, and Heiachi on the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. But then you have that in addition to other characters, including Freddy Krueger, which I know they've definitely dabbled onto that horror theme in uh, future Mortal Kombat games. But check this out. Just three dollars for the complete edition which once again does include all the dlc uh, i've seen this go for about 15 to 25 dollars on ebay on average and this is sonic generations i've been honest in the fact that i really have not played a lot of sonic games with the exception of sonic adventure which i love i also tried playing sonic world on a, on a stream right here on the channel well over a year ago and I was awful at it and people just told me I didn't know how to play it so maybe I know how to play or I'll know how to play uh, Sonic Generations it's cool because it's also uh, 3d compatible and I do have a 3d TV so maybe I try that out for a little while I say that's cool but then I go right back here and uh, many people say it's one of the best Sonic games out there so if you've checked this out please let me know as I'm slowly getting a couple of different Sonic games I have Sonic Transformed on the Wii U, Sonic Lost World there, but this one, it does seem interesting that it's got two different Sonics, like the more recent, and then we have more classic Sonic right there. The two inspirations for this video was number one, showcasing this microphone, and number two, I got this, people, for $3. Doing the math, that is $1 per game, and anybody that knows me, I love PS2, I love PS3, and I love video game compilations. And this one's pretty much all three because uh, also I got to point out, this is not even the North American region version of the game, which I don't even know uh, how this got to Puerto Rico, but another thing. So I've talked about PS3s, all of them are backwards compatible for PlayStation 1 games. All PS3s should be region free. So I was able to pop this into my PS3 and play it just fine. I've really barely dabbled on. I just made sure that it, it worked and it did, but it includes Tomb Raider Legend 
and Tomb Raider Anniversary, which I believe those games did come out on 360, but on the PS3, this was like the first time that they were released. Now, what's kind of confusing is that they lump up these two games, which do not have individual releases that I know of on PS3, but they also have Underworld, which, because my wife loves a Tomb Raider, I actually had that, and for a slight second, I almost didn't buy this, but then, all of you saw I just posted the Wii U game hunting video, and if there's anything that I've learned is that, Juan, if, if you have a small doubt, just buy the damn game. Just buy the damn game, and it's just one dollar per game. And there's a whole trend of uh, HD compilations on the PS3, which this one's kind of deceiving though, because think about that, right? It's a game that's already in that generation. They just lumped it up and it's called Classics HD, which it's a little misleading, but uh, let me know what you think about these pickups because I think that is absolutely awesome. And as I mentioned, I found those at a pawn shop, not at a GameStop, not at a local game store. You can also check out yard sales, but obviously uh, social distancing and all of these things are things I do take into account. What's really interesting is that this place was selling masks, uh, hand sanitizers and all that, so I felt super safe going in there. I actually bought their hand sanitizing spray. It was pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It has nothing to do with any of these topics, but I wanted to uh, be able to showcase those recent pickups because all of you know I love my PlayStation 3. Share some of your recent pickups, whether they be PS3 games or other games that are not part of this current generation because as of this video, people, we're in it. This is not next gen. We are in the PS5 and Xbox series generation except this guy right here because I, I just love all of that. And without question, I think that at $40, this is a really, really solid microphone. I mentioned that this microphone is no longer available. So somebody like myself, I've been freaking out at the whole concept of what if this microphone stops working? I don't want something that sounds nice. I want something that sounds comparable or at least decent enough to get the job done. And this is only $40. Now, availability may vary just like anything else right now. Even webcams that used to cost $30 to $40 are now $70 to $80. So I uh, would recommend for you to go to the description of this video. There will be an Amazon link and other information, and that way you can add it to your wish list and be notified when it is available. And once again, huge shout out to Toner for supporting a channel like myself, giving me an awesome opportunity to be able to showcase a great accessory that hopefully some of you uh, can enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, you know exactly what you gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button, give me that thumbs up, and up until next time, thank you for watching and supporting, and take care, everybody.